Hello, welcome back to the Prodi Academy YouTube channel. I'm Michelle, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing some of the most common beginner mistakes made when it comes to processing in QuickBooks Online. Now, if you're familiar with QuickBooks Online, you'll know that it is absolutely spectacular when it comes to maintaining financial records for small to medium sized entities. And if you're a business owner or an individual looking for a reliable, um, accounting software, then QuickBooks is a great option. However, there are some common mistakes that beginners make when it comes to using QuickBooks Online. And in this video, we're going to address what some of these more common mistakes are and how to avoid them. So if you've already made these mistakes, then now is the time to rectify them. And if you are new to QuickBooks and it's your first time using QuickBooks, you're in luck because you'll be able to rectify these mistakes before you've even made them. So with that said, let's jump straight in and take a look. So first up, we have forgetting to update the accounting records. Now, this is by far the most common mistake that QuickBooks users make. And if you are guilty of the same crime, you're certainly not alone. With the fast paced nature of the business world today and the stress of having to manage absolutely everything, it is often or it can it's fairly normal that there will be some transactions missed here and there. But the problem is, is that these mistakes may become costly if not rectified immediately. When your QuickBooks records don't match what your bank statements are saying, this is an indication that you're not staying on top of your organization's finances. And in order to avoid such a rookie mistake, the idea would be to build up to the habit of recording transactions as and when they occur. And if this is too much to ask, then at least record your transactions at the end of each day. Next up, we have the double charge. Now, believe it or not, double entries are also very common mistakes uh, or, or common amongst beginners. So if you're the conscious kind, then you are likely going to be prone to making this mistake. So if we take a look at an example to further illustrate this, let's suppose that you go on a business trip at the beginning of the month and you spent only from your credit cards. And with that being said, being the good businessman that you are, you've logged everything in your expenses tab as a business trip. Now, fast forward to the end of the month, when you are paying the credit card bills, you will you might also be considering the fact that you had been on that business trip that you had already logged. So there are effectively two entries that come about for the same expense. The one being where you've logged your expenses as you've incurred them on your trip. And the second being when you've actually paid that credit card bill, allocating that as an expense as well. In order to avoid this, it's always better to be careful when you are recording your entries and label them clearly so that you don't create confusion when it comes time to sitting down and having a look at the state of your records. We then have writing checks for payroll. So if you've been using QuickBooks as a business owner, there's a good chance that you use it for employee payroll as well. The question now is how do you pay those payroll taxes? If you've been using the write checks window, you've been doing it wrong. When you use the payroll function in QuickBooks, the payroll taxes are automatically filed in the payroll liabilities window. And when you pay them using the write checks function or through write checks, the tracking gets absolutely messed up. So the best, your best bet when it comes to using this function is to only use the payroll liabilities to pay off those taxes. Another big mistake that we see come through when it comes to rookie QuickBooks users is deleting transactions. Now, as QuickBooks does the job of central bookkeeping for your business, all of the transactions are interconnected across different accounts. So when you delete a transaction from one account, it affects the whole ledger. And at the time or at month end, when it comes time for you to sit down and actually make sense of things, that deleted transaction will cause you a lot of headaches. So if you absolutely have to write off or, or rather delete a transaction, look for other entries that it may have had an impact on. For example, if you are deleting a transaction from one account, it will delete or affect the other side of it. So it will have an impact on the other account. So this is important to keep in mind before going ahead and deleting any transaction. 
Then last but not least is the issue of having too many accounts. Now the sub accounts feature in QuickBooks is very handy when it comes to further organizing your books, but some users do take this concept a bit too far and create accounts and sub accounts for all of their expenses. Now, if you can keep track of all of this, no problem. The problem arises when you can't track it all and, and make sense of it all. So for example, if you have uh, if you have an expense account ask yourself whether you really need to have sub accounts for um, a utilities account with the sub accounts being for gas and for electricity ask yourself the question if it's really necessary and if not can the idea it brings about extra stress on your organizing skills when there is just absolutely too much going on when you're looking at your chart of accounts when you're looking at your profit and loss statement when you're looking at your trial balance. So what you can do to avoid this is chalk up or chalk out a plan of what you want your accounts to look like before you actually make them and make a list of the information that you actually need. So information that you need to see when you are viewing your accounts and then start your accounts from there. Delete any unnecessary accounts that you have floating about and ensure that you have tidied up your QuickBooks accounts. As always, we trust you found this video insightful and should you have any thoughts, comments or suggestions for future content that you'd like to see, please feel free to pop it in the comment section below. Please also join us on our social media platforms such as LinkedIn and Facebook or at our website at prodeofinancial.com. Prodeo Academy, striving to achieve better accounting for everyone.